Hey, well, I'm at the Beringer Crawford Museum where there's hundreds of different artifacts celebrating Northern Kentucky's history with the Kentucky Derby and horse racing. You can even try on jockey silks like the one I've got on now. Now, I'm here with curator Jason French. Thanks for being here. Oh, thank you for yeah, coming. Yeah, so let's talk a little bit about what this exhibit has. This is super cool. So this exhibit really covers um, horse racing in Northern Kentucky. But the race to fame portion of the exhibit is really covering northern Kentuckians and their experiences with the Kentucky Derby. That's so cool. And you were just talking with me about um, this guy, Eddie Arcaro, right? Yes. Eddie yeah. Arcaro is, um, you know, he was a tremendous jockey. He's yeah. a good northern Kentuckian. Uh, he won just a few derbies. Just actually, a few. He won five derbies and had three triple crowns. Wow. Uh, so he was a very accomplished uh, jockey and really uh, quite quite a, a treasure and really a celebrity, local mm -hmm. celeb. So. What is the significance of Northern Kentucky? What part um, does it play in the Kentucky Derby? You know, Northern Kentucky has had... Uh, a lot of actually part in the Kentucky Derby over the years. Um, uh, certainly before, uh, well, in the end of the 19th century, Kentucky had its own, or Northern Kentucky had its own racetrack uh, mm -hmm. at Latonia. Uh, it, that was big. Um, they had good prizes, lots of jockeys. Some of the, the famous jockeys of the period raced here in Northern Kentucky. And they would go on to race in uh, Churchill and the, at the Derby as well. Um, in more recent years with uh, the spiral stakes out of uh, New Latonia or, or Turfway, um, and, and lots of people have raced both in northern Kentucky and kind of working their way up to the Derby. Wow, I love it. All those things you can learn and more if you come here. Jason, thank you so much. Thank you. Yeah. We're going to send it back to you guys in the studio. You can always find our stories here on YouTube, but go ahead and tap subscribe. That way you're always in the know.